I want to start out my point by saying I love atheists. Just like I love my Christian brothers and sisters, I love atheists. I believe that atheists are sons and daughters of God. They're beloved children of God. But I do want to combat the false and infectious philosophy of atheism. So that's the point of this video. Not to combat or to condemn or to shame or to be condescending on atheists, but to bring light to the errors in atheism. There's so much mystery in faith, in belief in God, in Christianity. There's so much mystery. There's so much that we don't know. And it requires faith to come to belief in God. You know, if we're not open to the possibility that there could be a God, then no evidence in the world is ever going to help us to see that. And my main appeal is to the heart, not to the emotions, but to the heart, to your soul, to your heart of hearts, to your true and deepest being. What you know to be true, what you might not be able to touch and feel and measure, but you know and I know truly exists. Let's start with reason, logic, and intellect. You know, we wouldn't be having these discussions or having any debate at all if we didn't believe and know that truth exists. And we can begin to approach it through the gifts of reason and logic and intellect. You know, we desire the infinite. We desire the eternal. We are not satisfied from the material, from the physical, from the things that we receive. We might accomplish some great things. We might win some great accolades or honors or awards or praises, but that does not satisfy. Our hearts are restless until they rest in our Creator who made them, and we will not be satisfied um, with the temporary. You know that morality exists. You cannot measure morality. You cannot touch it or feel it, but you know. I can't prove it 100% um, physical evidence, but you know and I know that morality exists, that rape is wrong. It's always wrong. It al always was wrong. It always will be wrong. What Hitler did was wrong. There is a difference between Hitler and Mother Teresa. We know this. If morality exists, there must be an objective moral standard. Desires for the infinite, they exist. They are there. Just like we desire um, sleep or water or food or intimacy or relationship. You know, babies in orphanages were dying and they didn't know why. It was because they weren't being loved and they weren't being held. Even on a physical level, this transcends just the spiritual, just the emotional. We're more than just physical beings. Emotions and the spiritual in our soul are truly ingrained in our being. And whether you accept it or not, whether you reason your way out of it or not, whether you justify or not, we know in our heart of hearts that we were made by a creator and we were made for something beyond this world. We have a conscience that we feel bad when we do something wrong. We feel good when we do something right. These things exist whether you can prove them or not. And that's the same with God. He truly exists. We know that there are things that we believe to be true, even though we cannot see it, touch it and feel it, prove it scientifically. And we know that God exists for the very same reasons. For thousands of years, 99% of human beings that we know of have believed in a supernatural. And of course, it's been all sorts of different supernatural beings, but it's because that, that is deep within us and we know that and we're drawn to it. You know, we can't explain it. We can't understand it unless God reveals it to us, unless we have faith. But that doesn't mean that it's not true. There is no contradiction between faith and reason. They're like two wings of a bird that lift our spirit to the Almighty, to the Eternal, to who we were made by and to who we were made for. Even just through the natural order, we can come to see God. Even just through reason and logic and through the natural law, just like some of the greatest philosophers like Plato, Aristotle, Socrates, they came to believe in a good God just through the natural facilities that we have at our disposal. Finally, on a personal level, I've had dozens of experiences where I would say that there are miracles in my life and I can truly see the hand of God. I believe in God because I know Him. I have a personal relationship with Him. I see Him in His creation, in all that is true, good, and beautiful. Just like I know there's an artist because I see the artwork with all of my heart, with all my soul, with all my reason and logic, I truly believe that God exists. And the reason for me for sharing this belief is because it's been the greatest treasure in my life. But I just want to share it with the world. I want to share it with you. And my faith and my belief in Jesus Christ has made all the difference to me. It's a free gift that I've received that I just wish that everyone could also have as well. I love you. God loves you. God bless you.